Is the next big thing in graphics technology just around the corner? Nvidia is set to release three new graphics cards, sparking a wave of anticipation. But the real question is, are they the upgrade you've been waiting for? Or is there more to the story? In this video, I'm diving into everything you need to know about these upcoming releases, covering their specifications, performance, pricing and release dates. But that's not all. I'll be peeling back the layers to reveal what truly sets these cards apart and whether they live up to the hype. So, if you are wondering whether to wait or buy now, you're in the right place. Let's dive in and uncover the truth behind Nvidia's latest offering. But first, cdkeyoffer.com has been my favorite trusted seller of affordable Windows 10 Pro OEM keys for over three years now. They're currently running a Black Friday sale on all Microsoft software. Use discount code IVADIM to get 25% off and bring the Windows 10 Pro price down to just $16 then securely check out with PayPal or another payment method. The key is delivered instantly, so you can activate it and upgrade to Windows 11 for free if you wish to do so. Microsoft Office 2019 and 2021 Pro are also on sale with a discount code IVADIM. Grab them now while the Black Friday sale is on. At CS 2024 on January 8th, Nvidia plans to unveil three new graphics cards designed to address some of the product positioning issues currently faced by the RTX 40 series. These new cards are the RTX 4080 Super, RTX 4070 Ti Super and RTX 4070 Super. Reportedly, the actual launch will be staggered over the weeks following the reveal, so all three graphics cards should be available to buy by the end of February. The RTX 4080 Super utilizes the full AD103 GPU, featuring 10,240 CUDA cores, 256-bit bus, 16GB of 24GB per second GDDR6X memory, and a 320W TDP. That is a minor improvement over the RTX 4080, whose primary issue remains its unreasonably high MSRP of $1,200. Although the latest street price is actually $1130, which is a little better, but it's still way too high. According to industry sources, Nvidia aims to resolve this issue by launching the RTX 4080 Super with a $999 MSRP and a 6 to 9% better performance than the RTX 4080 to take AMD's RX 7900 XTX head on. If we compare the two on the performance comparison chart, then indeed the 4080 Super looks like the better option. However, we should not forget that AMD's RX 7900 XTX has 24GB of memory and can be purchased for as low as $920 right now. Furthermore, AMD has an option to reduce its price further while still maintaining good profit margins. So, the 16GB RTX 4080 Super at $1000 is still nothing to get hyped about. Yes, it is better than the $1200 RTX 4080, but it is still too far from what I would call a decent deal. The bottom line is, anyone buying an RX 7900 XTX right now should not be worried. Enjoy gaming on it over the holiday season. But if you are thinking about buying an RTX 4080 for over $1100, then you may want to think twice. It's a ripoff. Next up is the RTX 4070 Ti Super. It utilizes a cut-down version of the AD103 GPU, featuring 8448 CUDA cores, 256-bit bus, 16GB of GDDR6 memory and a 285 Watt TDP. Nvidia is considering pricing this card between $799 and $849. The 4070 Ti Super should offer a 14 to 22% performance uplift over the regular 4070 Ti and is aimed at killing the RX 7900 XT sales. Considering that the original 4070 Ti MSRP was $799, the 4070 Ti Super at the same price would look good. Only the 4070 Ti doesn't actually sell for $800 anymore, as it can be found starting at $750. Additionally, the RX 7900 XT has 20GB of memory and is also priced at around $750 right now. So there is little to no reason to wait for the RTX 4070 Ti Super. Just grab an RX 7900 XT and enjoy playing games for the next couple of months, while others are waiting for the 4070 Ti Super. 
However, if you have your sights on the 12 GB 4070 Ti, then it may be worth your while to wait for the 16 GB 4070 Ti Super, because that extra 4 GB of memory will offer a better quality of life over the next few years, and will make it easier to resell when the time comes to upgrade. 12 GB is barely enough in 2023. Future games will certainly demand much more. The last one on the agenda today is the RTX 4070 Super. It utilizes a cut-down version of the AD104 chip featuring 7168 CUDA cores, 192-bit bus, 12 GB of 21 gigabit per second GDDR6X memory, and a 220 watt TDP with a price between $600 and $650. This configuration allows the 4070 Super to perform extremely close to the 4070 Ti in games. To be precise, it will be 3 to 6% weaker than the 4070 Ti according to the latest leaks. The RTX 4070 Super might be the only upcoming graphics card out of the three worth waiting for if Nvidia prices it at $600 because essentially you'd be getting a 4070 Ti level of performance with a decent discount. However, once again, if I were in the market for a graphics card right now, I would just buy an RTX 4070 for around $550 or an RX 7800 XT for $500 now, and enjoy playing games over the next two months, instead of waiting for the 4070 Super to launch, possibly priced at $650. In conclusion, don't expect Nvidia to bring any significant changes to their current GPU pricing strategy. They will only price the new products as low as the competition requires. The reasonable prices we've enjoyed in the past are unlikely to return until consumers collectively stop buying their current offerings en masse, signaling to these companies the need for change. This is especially important as AMD is following Nvidia's lead, and Intel has not yet produced any noteworthy GPUs. However, I'm still rooting for Intel to properly enter the competition in the coming years. This industry certainly needs a good shakeup. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, then give it a like and subscribe for more. Also, let me know what you think about the upcoming Nvidia Super Graphics cards in the comments below. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.